Hello everyone and welcome to a lesson on iPad settings. And this lesson will cover how to change the wallpaper on your iPad or iPad mini. So it might be an inbuilt Apple wallpaper, a picture of your puppy or a premium free high definition wallpaper. But at the end of this lesson you will know how to locate an image, download it to your camera roll and use it as your wallpaper. So what is wallpaper on an iPad? There are two places that you can find wallpaper. One is on the home screens, and this is the home screen we're looking at now with the wallpaper being the background, that green image. And every time I change home screens, the wallpaper goes along with those icons. And the other place is the lock screen. So if I put the iPad to sleep and wake it up, that's the lock screen, and you can have wallpaper on that screen as well, a different wallpaper. This is a picture of my dog. And as soon as you slide to unlock, the iPad opens and you, you get the other wallpaper. You can have the same wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen. But finding the right wallpaper is the key because you don't want an image that is so busy that you can't see the icons. So I'm going to change this wallpaper for a moment and put in an image that I would consider busy. So in my camera roll I've got some images that I think might be good as wallpaper. So this one particularly might be good as wallpaper. So I could use that image and create wallpaper. This is busy. There is so much going on here that if I set it as wallpaper, which is what I've just done, you can't really read the icons. So as I move the screens it is very distracting. So the wallpaper that you can have on your iPad can be one of three things. A still image, a dynamic wallpaper, or something called parallax, which it's an animated wallpaper that moves when you move with it. In the settings, under wallpaper and brightness, is where you can select your wallpaper. So if I wanted to change the home screen, I've got these choices. I can have some dynamic wallpaper, and this comes with the iPad, so dynamic. I change one of these, change it to red, select it. You can see the background is moving. They're dynamic. Just cancel that. You can have a still. And these are the images that come with the iPad. So some these are all the inbuilt ones. And some of them move. So if I selected this one and choose it. When you tilt it, and you might not be able to see this on the recording, but as you tilt it or move it, it moves with you. Uh, it's got motion. Uh, they're called parallax wallpapers. Now the other still image you could have is an image out of your camera roll. So instead of selecting an Apple wallpaper, because there are limited wallpapers there, you can grab an image out of your camera roll, which is what I've done for my lock screen. I took the picture of the dog and I want to make that my wallpaper for the lock screen but you can also download pictures from the internet you can get wallpapers from a premium wallpaper site online which we'll look at shortly or you can screen capture something off the internet so the images can come from anywhere what you have to be careful of is the resolution of the image the resolution of the new iPad Air is 2048 pixels by 1536 pixels. So an image of that resolution is going to be crisp and clear. You can get images that are less than that and, and, and HD wallpapers are often 1920 pixels by 1080. And they're not going to look as crisp. Uh, some images will be even bigger than that resolution and you can crop and scale them when you put them in as your wallpaper. So let's have a look at how you can use some images from your computer. Now in my downloads folder, I've got three images here that I've downloaded from uh, the internet. And I might want to use one of those as a wallpaper. If you're using a Mac, to see the properties of an image, so for this CC, if I right click and get info, I can see the resolution of that image. 2448 by 2448, so it's a little bigger than the screen size of the, the um, iPad, but the resolution is higher and we can crop and scale it. 
uh, whereas something else, so the green dots, so this is the green dots, so it's slightly dynamic, although it's a still image. Get the info on that one. 1024 times 1024, so it's smaller size, but it's not going to be as crisp. So I've got some images, and to get some images, here's, here's uh, an image page. All I've done is get onto uh, Safari in this case, but any browser, and look for some pictures. I've gone dogs, HD wallpaper, and found all these images in Google. And just hovering over them, you can see the resolution of them. This one was 2560 times 1600, so it's just about, well, it's a little bit bigger than, than what we need. And then just right click and, and download them. So I've saved that image to downloads. And once you've got some images on your computer, then you need to get them over to your iPad. Now, if you're using a, a, a Mac, you can use Photo Stream and get them across to your iPad in that way. So on a Mac, if I have iPhoto, and I want to put these three pictures into iPhoto, just drag them in. And then within a few seconds, they will be sent to the iPad via Photo Stream. So on the iPad, go back into the Photos app, go into Albums, My Photo Stream. And they're not there at the moment, but within a minute or two, they will start to appear. You can start to see it there. They're coming in now. Now, other ways that you can get photos across from the computer to your iPad is using apps. So there is an app called Transfer, and that allows you to send photos to and from devices to the iPad. So in this case, I'm doing this on the iPad. I'd like to receive photos from another computer, either a Windows computer or an Apple, or another device, which would be a phone, or some cloud services, Flickr, etc. So I want to receive photos from an Apple computer and then I just use my web browser to select and, and change those photos. Now if you look in the uh, attachments, there'll be a link to a video on how to use the transfer app. Uh, otherwise, another way could be to email it from my computer to the iPad. So here's a, an email message in Gmail. The image has been attached. Then I will send it to myself and then from the iPad's mail app, I can then grab that picture. So if I send that to myself, send, and then go back and look in the mail app, there's that image, sending an image. So I've sent the image from the computer to the iPad. It's downloading the image now to my iPad. It's quite a big one. And then from there, I can tap and hold. And I can save the image, or and that image will then be saved into the camera roll. Going back into photos, to camera roll, and there's the, the picture at the bottom, the last one. The other way you can send photos is using iTunes. So I have in my finder a pictures folder, and inside that pictures folder is a folder called From Downloads, where I put anything that I've downloaded from the internet that I want to transfer over using iTunes. Then with iTunes open and your iPad attached, then you select the Photos tab. For me, I've set any photos from the folder Pictures will be selected to be synced across to my iPad and at this stage I've only selected one folder. So even though there are a whole lot of other folders there, only the downloads folder will be copied across. How do you search for images to use as wallpaper on your iPad? In Safari I'm looking for a picture that I can use as wallpaper. So I've just done a Google search for some fashion located a picture and tap that picture to open it so if we like this one and then view the image and now save that image to my camera roll so to save an image i can either tap the sharing button and 
save the image that way or more quickly is just tap and hold and then tap save image and that's gone into the camera roll now you can also do a screen capture so I found a picture here that I want to use as wallpaper so to do a screen capture it is hold the home button and the sleep wait button together briefly till it flashes and it sounds like a camera shutter and that image is now gone into the camera roll the other way is to actually use a wallpaper site that you might have found now there is a, a site called freeios7.com which has wallpapers for iPhone and iPad a new one every hour and at the time of recording this there is 98 pages of different wallpapers and I can tap iPads these are images designed for the iPad and you can see them all there there are 64 pages of iPad ones and you can go from page to page so once you've found a, a picture you like so I'm selecting these blue pictures and then you get a, a choice as to what form of the picture you want to download so I want to download this picture for the iPad 4 if you had an iPhone 5 or 4 or iPad 1 or 2 or mini you've got different versions different resolutions for those devices so in selecting the iPad 3 or 4 I can make a choice do I want a normal I wallpaper so just a steel image or one that's been tweaked for the parallax which is that animation and motion so I'm going to select just the normal one of this picture so there's the picture and again I'm just going to tap it and save the image so I've now got three pictures that I've found on the iPad that I could use for wallpaper so if we go out of Safari and into the Photos app and into the camera roll which is in the albums these are the, the three there's the, the girl there's the picture we downloaded from the free iOS 7 site and the screen capture now the problem with the screen capture is that you also get other things from the screen that you don't want so in this case it's got the actual uh, URL bar it has the favorites bar and the bookmarks bar so you need to crop those out so in the edit button crop and just taking the corner there I just wanted to delete those edges and maybe some of that white and crop it and save it and that picture is now without all that extraneous information so I've now got some images I've got images from the iPad and we've also looked at how to get images from your computer and, and copy them now how do you actually use them as wallpaper you change the wallpaper from the settings menu you can also add an image to the wallpaper directly from the camera roll so in the settings you've got two choices change the wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen and have different wallpaper for both of those or have the same wallpaper for both so it's in settings wallpaper and brightness and here is where you choose the wallpaper At the moment I have separate wallpaper for the lock screen and my home screen and in the first instance I'm going to just change the home screen so I'm going to tap the picture and then select one of these pictures I've just downloaded so going into the camera roll and if you can't find them there then you could look in the photo stream let's go back into the camera roll and select that picture the photos of the flowers that we downloaded and that's been optimized for the iPad screen you can move and scale it so if it's a bit too big you can move it um, this one is the right size so there's not really a lot of moving and scaling you can do and then I'm going to set it for the home screen now you could set for both or the lock screen or the home screen so I'm just going to set it for the home screen setting wallpaper and then once that's done you can go back to the home and then you have your new wallpaper there at the background 
Now, if you don't like it, you go through the process again. Now, I don't like this one because it's uh, the colour is, the flowers are too light and, you know, there's no contrast with the actual font. So I'd go back into settings and wallpaper and pick a different one from the camera roll. Now I could select perhaps that screen that's city. Now you can see that it's not the same resolution as the premium wallpapers that was downloaded from that website. It's just a little bit blurry. I mean it looks a bit better you can actually there's more contrast but the picture's not really sharp enough. So be aware when you're saving a picture that you want the highest resolution possible. The other thing you can change is your lock screen. So let's get back out of here and into settings, wallpaper and brightness. This time I'm going to change the lock screen. So I'm going to go to the camera roll and I want a different picture of my dog. So I like that one. So I can move and scale it. So I could move it over here and now I've cut some of his face off but I can move it uh, horizontally just picking the right part so I just want to have it straight into the, the middle and then set that one as the lock screen so that when I turn off the iPad and wake it from sleep that picture is now on the lock screen and you slide to unlock so let's recap what you should have learnt from this lesson is how to locate an image whether it's on your computer or on the iPad uh, and download it or copy it to your iPad and use it to change the wallpaper.